A celebrity chef, Shota Nakajima, is in our kitchen this morning. Hello. Um, and, you know, you all know him from competing in Top Chef or at his Seattle restaurant, Taku. But today he's got a brand new partnership with Lexus he's going to tell us all about and a delicious burger recipe to go along with it. Chef Shota, welcome back to New Day. My pleasure to be back. I'm always happy to be back. So I, knowing that you are an incredible chef, but I didn't realize you were such a burger master, as is evident by these beautiful trophies you have here before us. So this was an event that I, uh, I represented Lexus in Chicago called uh, Burger Hop in Chicago Gourmet. It's mm -hmm. one of the biggest events. Um, a lot of chefs go in from locally to nationwide and everyone competes to get a burger That's or make a burger and they have two awards. They have Judges uh, Choice and People's Award and this year uh, Seattle got both. Of course you did. Of course you did. So that's what we're making today. It's a burger, right? Yes, we're making burgers. We're making that exact burger that, that got us the burger, two trophies. That burger? The award-winning burger? The award-winning burger. Okay, so how do we get started? So first, we're going to do a smash burger today. All right. Oh, I've always wanted to learn how to make one. I know. It's so fun. It's one of my favorite things. Okay. And for me, it's really about the dark charred color you get right okay. here. Because that's that, like, when you char a steak and you get that nice dark oh, flavor. So good. So one of the most important things is high temp and then cold oil. Cold oil? Cold oil, and what that does is okay. when you lean the pan, you can see little streaks that go by. Oh, oh, I see it. It's like they're not quite, it's just, it's reacting. That's science. So, yeah. right, I know, yeah. it's chemistry. Yes. Um, so what that does is it helps kind of create two layers of oil, and when you put your meat into these pans, it doesn't stick as much. Okay, got it. We're gonna season. This is a little salt, pepper uh, mix that I use at the restaurant. Okay. And hot so pan. you make it into a ball. You don't smash it up first. I'm gonna smash it here. I like to put a little parchment on top. Okay. I'm gonna do half so you can easily see it a so little. So you can bit. see it. Yeah. Okay. So I put a little parchment on top to make sure it doesn't stick to whatever you're using. Yeah. Okay. And then I get, you know, you can use a weight or you can use the bottom of a pan. Um, I usually use it away at the restaurant, but uh, I love it. <laughs> but you know what? I'm glad because I don't have a weight. Right? I have a pan though. So I wanted to showcase that you can use anything. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so what I do is I actually stretch it out quite a bit. Oh, you do? Okay. I do. So the main reason I do that is I actually fold it later. Oh. And it shrinks a tiny bit when you cook it. You really are stretching that puppy out. I am. And then okay. I like to put a little weight on top, but okay. at home, you know, you don't have a burger. There you go. This is teriyaki sauce that you can get on makeumami.com, by the way. Just in case. It also acts as a perfect weight and then seasons your food. Look at that. Double usage. So, uh, Go ahead. Yeah, this is kind of uh, how I let it cook, and I cook most of it on one side. Okay. Most um, of it on one side, so I'm not going to really worry about flipping yeah, it over. It's just, well, I like to keep it medium rare, too. Okay. So, because gotcha. one, one of the things is, you know, at this point, it's a little weak, but... It's starting to cook. It's yeah. actually starting to look pretty good, so I'm just gonna look move at that, y'all. You would not think, oh, I'm making a burger. If I make, if somebody came into my kitchen and I said I was making a burger, they'd be like, "Good job, Amity." <laughs> Wait till I tell them show to taught me how. But when you look at this now, you can look at the bottom and you oh, get that nice that. color. Oh, so that's delicious. For me, I just do a light hit on this side. Yeah. Flip it over. Oh, look at that! Totally just. It's some already cheese. pulled some cheese. And I actually like to fold this baby up like this. This is awesome. It's like a meat omelet. Right? And then now we're just going to let this rest real quick right here. Okay. As we get our buns, and we're going to let you put them in the oil? I put them right in the oil. Okay. Cool. And they just kind of toast right up. Toast right up and right on top of this. I have three, uh, two different sauces. This is like a herb aioli that Ooh, I made. Okay. I'll try that. It's yummy. It's mm -hmm. bright. Ooh. Um, and this is... Uh, like our shoda sauce, as we call it. Shoda sauce. Um, Secret shoda sauce. Shoda sauce. It's based off of this teriyaki sauce. Mm -hmm. It's got some chili, sesame, all the umami, some of my favorite ingredients inside. And that just mm. gets paired up lightly with a, a daikon carrot pickle, which is a classic Japanese pickle. Okay. As you're waiting for those to toast up, I want to hear about this new role with Lexus. Yes. So Lexus, um, they reached out to me to be their culinary ambassador. They've been um, you know, expanding their field and showing kind of the lifestyle. Oh, yeah. I go foraging a lot, um, and um, I use their uh, car for catering now. Do you? I do. That is so cool. I was going to say, did you get a car? You know, I did get a car. They're actually building the one that I... Um, oh, they're building it. They're building a new one right now. Um, oh, that's fancy. I asked for the GX, which is the outdoor one. Oh, yeah. It's yes. got like all crazy suspensions that are individual, and I go foraging a lot. I didn't so. know that about you. Yeah. It's so a, you like... Not just for mushrooms, but you like to go get like 
spices and stuff out there in nature, I wouldn't know what it was. I'd probably kill myself. You know, you know, um, you can eat everything once. Everything's edible once, right? So. <laughs> Unless you don't survive. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what do you forage? Because I think it's so cool because you live here and there is so much nature around us. What do you forage? Um, I mainly started foraging mushrooms and then throughout the foraging community started to meet um, people who know a lot about plants. Yeah. Got me into learning about trees and just it just turned into a big hobby of connecting with nature. Have you ever cooked with stinging nettles? Because I have. I have. Have you? I have. It's a fun one. It's I mean, interesting. It's got a unique flavor. You have to really cook it. Yeah. And really be careful when you pick those because if you uh, if you don't watch out, you might burn yourself or, you know. Well, I grabbed him to, to use to talk about on TV and Joseph, my executive producer, like knocked him out of my hand. He's like, what yeah. are you doing? Yes. They didn't sting me. I wonder why. I don't know. I wonder know. why. They mm. might have been cooked cook through? So no, they were they were raw. Off, so. Um, okay, so let me, I'll let you finish this off. I'll stop talking and let you finish. Yes. So, and then on top of this, mm -hmm. I put the little sauce right on top, and this is that umami yummy sauce. Yeah. I'm gonna add some pickles right on top. Okay. Not too much though. Yeah. And then, you know, I like to add a little. Is that Thai basil? It is Thai uh, basil. It's my favorite. It's so herbaceous, delicious, and also adds green to your burger and justifies that it's a salad. Now, yeah, right? obviously. It's an, so. it's an omelet and salad and burger. Okay. I'm going to jump into this, and I want you to tell me all about Food Network's Tournament yes. of Champions. Yes, you definitely. Get it? Okay. Mm, oh, my God, it's so good. So it's like the bite per bun is the right ratio, or the meat ratio to bun ratio. I'm in a moment right now. This is so good. It's a pretty good burger, right? Oh my God, dude. Tell us about the show while I eat this. Um, so show, Tournaments of Champions season five. Mm -hmm. um, intense, they get 32 chefs around the nation and put them all in one room. It's a one-on-one -on -one combat and it is airing right now on Sundays. Oh my gosh. How, how do you do, is it stressful? It's, uh, it's stressful, it is. It's yeah. stressful, but it's the things you get out of it, the relationships and also, it's something when you cook for like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and yeah. you're going through these things, you make mistakes, you learn something. Uh -huh. And that pressure and that experience to be able to learn, yeah. I just can't really find that anywhere else in that environment. And I started to, I'm starting to really enjoy just kind of the growth that I get, the networks, the friends that I create yeah, out of it. The friends, because you become friends with a lot of those folks, all right? All of them, yeah. All of them I become really close friends with. We do different events together, and it just turns into this incredible network of people. That is amazing. That is amazing. But we're glad that you always come back home here. What's going on at Taku? Uh, Taku, we are doing, well, this week we have SakuraCon. So Ooh. we are getting ready for that busy, busy weekend. Okay. Um, what is do, that, by the way? SakuraCon is an anime-based festival that mm -hmm. they do. Um, a lot of, you know, celebrating kind of that at yeah. the convention center. And it brings a bunch of people in. In Taku, we have comics all over the place. We do specials like uh, Curry of Life Ramen, which yeah. is from Naruto. Oh, yes. Have that oh, my on. kid so, loves Naruto. So we have, you know, we really try to play mix, mix in with that crowd. We have drink specials that are based off of SakuraCon this weekend, too. Well, so. I'll have to come down and see it. Are you big into comics? Like, what you I think? am. I grew up. I grew up. I mean, I grew up on Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball classic. Z. Classic, yeah. One Piece, one of my favorites. That's awesome. Yes. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. For being here. This is an incredible burger. I usually share it with the staff, but I'm not going to today. So sorry about it. It's a luxurious made by craftsmanship, just like Lexus. <laughs> just like Lexus. Yeah, give me right. I'm going to go foraging with you. Yes, let's okay, go. Okay, sweet.